Captain Dave here doing the uh, first pouring of the slabs. This is what I'm making. Let me put these down. Hold on a second. This is what I'm making. It's a thin, ooh, thin slab. What it has, it's got a V. They're very hard to hold. It's got a V on this side, kind of like the bottom of your boat. Then on the other side, it's flat. And this is referred to as a slab spoon. And what that does, it makes it wobble and flutter. Okay? Because it's like the bottom of a boat on one side and it's flat on the other. So when you jig it, and it flutters down. Here's uh, one with the sprue on it. That's referred to as the sprue. That's a little pour point. I'm doing them in three sizes. Five eighths. Uh, one ounce and one eighth. And one ounce and three eighths. Uh, actually, here's a one ounce and three eighths. It's a little bigger. And over here is the production facility. Here we go. What I got is I got my burner over here and I'm just keeping my mold hot. There's my little pour bucket. It's very dark in, in, the, in the shop here, so I'm hoping you can see this. Thermostatically controlled. Here's a bucket of small sink or eight ounce sinkers that I made too much of. And they fit perfectly just going down in here. So I'm using these. Here's a bucket of uh, ones that have already been done, just soaking in water, cooling off. And then here's the other thing, which you got to do, is you got these wire forms. That makes the eyes in the mold. There's a whole bucket of them there. And I got a mark. There's the 5 8 There's the 1 and 8 And then the 1 and 3 8 and what you got to do is you got to separate these, and I got them hanging on the outside of this bucket for easy grabbing. And then I'm going to try to set this up. There's the mold or the uh, pour bucket. There's the lead down inside. And what I'm going to try to do is show you just a quick and dirty process of how you go about this. Here's the mold with the cutouts for the slab spoons. What you have to do is you take what they refer to as the wire forms, these little wires, and you gotta put them in here while this thing is wickedly hot. And there's three different sizes for three different spoons. And you gotta put them in the little groove Okay. And everything has to remain hot. Like pouring any sinkers, or it just won't pour right. Close the mold. Make sure it's closed good. What you have is that little spout right there. And this is why it was so important. You can't hand pour these jigs. Let's see. So if I go like this, let me take a spoon. I'll put that under there to catch it. When I move this lever up, it lets out the lead. See? See how precision that is? When I go to pour this, I hold it under here. There's the holes. One, two, three. And I put that up there like that. And I lift that lever right here. And that is going to pour the lead in. So let me set the camera down. There's one. There's two. There's three. 
there's three. So now, that's what it looks like. You let it set up for a second. Right? And then you pull it out. And there's your slab spoon, just like doing a sinker. Okay? Pour these out. And there you go. So that's how that's how these are made. Then afterwards, you break the sprue off. And you get a clean side there. And there you go. You got yourself a slab spoon. And these have been working out really good for me with my customers. What they are is they're a heavy weight that you can impart some wobble and action to, some color, some flutter. And then what I do is I come off of here with an open eye side wash hook. That's a kind of a long pointed hook. It's got an open eye. I put the open eye on there and I crimp the eye closed. And there you go, you got that. But, in the mean, before I do through all that, I'm going to paint these and put on some reflective decal to give it some color and some flash. So, that's how we're making the slab spoons. And uh, I'm doing this just sort of as a hobby. Um, they're quite hot. And I take them and I just drop them over here in the water. And let them cool off. So, in the meantime, see what you got to do too, is you can't take over here you can't come over here and grab one of these cold leads and then just drop it in your pot or you'll get an explosion. Everything has to be up to temperature. So what I've been doing is I take one of these heavy leads and I just put it in my little my little uh, pour ladle here and I bring that that lead up to temperature so then I can put it in here and I do the same thing with the spoon. I stick the spoon in there because I'm going to skim the top of this pot. Now there's a thing called fluxing the pot that you do with candle wax. I don't have any candles. I got to get some candles. And I don't know exactly what they're talking about. I'm assuming you melt candle wax on top of your lead and it's real easy because the candle wax grabs all the impurities, all the slag on the top and you can pull it out and leave really good clean lead in your pot. I think that's exactly what they're talking about. Except for the fact that Dave doesn't have any candles at this moment. So what I've been doing is you just go in and pull out this is some pretty clean lead right in here some pretty clean lead for the sheer fact that it's already been cleaned and um, it's already been cleaned because it's been been poured into these uh, eight ounce sinkers so that's the process and then the next thing I'm going to show you is what it might look like after I paint one or I put a decal on one so here in the dark garage shop as I refer to it behind the Jetty Wolf this is the production going on right now so this is just something to do during the winter
because I'm using a lot of these slab spoons. I'm really finding it really works out um, for me in the river and at the jetties.